Hi guys, 10K Walker here. Just now in the Starbucks coffee, I unboxed the uh, hover camera and now I put the battery on and it's fully charged. So the battery took about one hour to charge and you can charge both of them at the same time. And you put it on just like that and then push it in kind of easy and now we're going to set up this drone and begin to fly so I read the instruction you just open it and then you press the power button and then let go so I'm pressing the power button now The power button is blinking, but it's not spinning. Maybe I... I don't think I should be letting go now. It will just drop. Maybe I should pop press again. Because now it, it leads up, so probably it's ready to fly. Oh yeah. So it's flying and to take the camera to take the camera off just hold it and then hold it again and earlier now in the Starbucks I download the app so let me set it up so I can control with the app as well so now my Wi-Fi is looking for the signal Hover camera, I can see now. Connect and put in the default password. Join. It's a little bit windy here, so it may affect its performance a little bit. If you bind this camera, and it should withstand the wind. So now I'm connected, and my cell phone should be able to control. It asks me to switch to the uh, five gigahertz mode, which offer better range. So now it's connected again and let's get started. Now it wants to do the firmware update. Let it update. It's checking for updates right now. Next, download. This might take a while. Right now the Wi-Fi is my my phone is downloading the software update for this one. As I'm waiting, I'm just going to show quickly uh, how this thing how it looks like. It's like a VHS tape when you fold it up the size to use it you open up and press this power button at the front here there's the uh, camera and the flashlight and at the bottom this one is the sonar and this one is the uh, optical sensor so they say it's very important you keep do not block this because it needs it to maintain the altitude and it also says don't poke your finger into the uh, propeller, which makes sense. I can see how this is so uh, small, so light, and easy to carry uh, when you travel. You want to get an aerial shot for yourself. If it all works well, good quality, this would be nice. And here is a USB 3.0 connector. You can connect this one and plug into your computer and download the videos. Or you can use the app to, to download the photos and video to your cell phone. One thing I got a little bit disappointed from the Apple Store is that when I check online the review, the old hover camera that they were selling before the Apple Store, they include a case. But now with, with the, the one from Apple Store, all I got is a pouch. If I'm traveling and put this into my luggage or in my backpack, it might get squeezed, get dent. This pouch won't offer really good protection. Also, the hover camera that was for sale before, including a USB 3.0 cable. Right now, there's no cable from Apple Store. And from their website, they ask you to buy a $20 cable. 
I feel you are spending over six hundred dollars. You should be getting the cable for free. Hopefully, um, sometimes in the future they can correct that to give all the customer a cable USB 3.0 that's included. Just finished the downloading for the firmware, and right now it's updating. It could take three to five minutes and this light is flashing it's uh, transferring the file and insulin onto the system just now it beeps the firmware update is completed i'm going to press the finish button now it's asking me to do the face recognition as the owner so press the start button and then turn your face to the left and the right so now i press the start button And now I am the hover camera's owner, fly camera to experience it. Applying flying in this condition. So dim light don't fly, like a shiny textureless surface don't fly, don't fly over water, and high elevation drop off. Don't do that. It's ready to fly. Let's do it. Hold the hover camera, press the power button, and let go. The camera cannot find the owner because they're looking at the wrong direction. Now how do I tell this thing? Yeah, the owner is here. Go back a little bit. Go back. Where's the owner? Oh, now it's, it's recording. It sees my face. And now it's, it's just following me automatically. Now how do I lower it? It's looking for owner by itself. Let me help you find the owner. It, it will start recording by itself once it, it finds the owner. And up, the, I guess it's all automatic. This thing right now is test fly number two. This time I'm going to uh, operate it without a cell phone. Just fly it and using the gesture to let the camera take a picture. Let's see if that works. So once again, hold, hold the hover camera and press the power button with your middle finger. That's how they show in the tutorial. So now it's hovering and supposed to see me and begin to record video but it's still spinning and searching for the owner I guess it's still oh you see my face and I can see the light start flashing the red light and let's try the gesture see if you take pictures yeah So I think that took the picture, I'm not too sure. I'm going to connect with my cell phone and find out. I'll do another shot. So maybe it took the picture, maybe it doesn't. I'm not too sure if it took the picture. Uh, let's do a first shot, see, and then check on the phone. So maybe it did, and when you finish, 
you press the OK, I mean you do the OK gesture. And then it go to green line. And take it down, press power again. And now I'm going to check my cell phone to see if the pictures was taken correctly. So now I'm looking at the Hover app and let's see if the new picture I see a video and okay supposed to have pictures but I don't know if it's this look like a picture but it doesn't have the V sign so maybe it was waiting I guess that works so as soon as it starts flying it will automatically um, record video and when you do the gesture I guess it automatically counts 3 seconds and begin taking photos that's pretty good this is test fly number 3 and this time I'm going to try the bird's eye function that's on the phone so let's launch the hover camera okay that wasn't a successful launch I when you launch this you kind of have to look at your face because it tried to find your face so let's do that again So it sees my face, and now let's press the uh, bird's eye view, bird's eye, and see if that. Oh, it spins to the wrong direction. Oh, to tell the camera, you put your finger in the middle, then it will tell, go up and down. I got it. So, tell the camera down, going up higher, going up higher. Okay, that's the bird's eye view, take pictures. You can do a timer delay, three seconds, three, two, one, you take the shot. When you take the shot, it will buzz, so you kind of know. So, it's not bad. Fairly easy to operate.